Hello everybody, I hope you're all well. This is a new series of stories that I'm going to do called Mew Mew's Mystery MMS. It's going to involve me telling stories about paranormal or supernatural, other strange events that might involve mobile phones. This is the first the episode of a story called The Taxi Text, Episode 1. It had been a long day for Alice, and she was dead on her feet, as they say. <laughs> it had been raining quite hard. And she was absolutely delighted when she heard the toot toot of the taxi on the end of the street where she worked in a little coffee shop. She put her head down and ran through the rain. All she saw was her feet in front of her splashing through the puddles. She didn't see anyone get out of the taxi. Did anybody get out of the taxi? Maybe not. She settled back into the back seat. She spoke to the taxi driver and told her where, told him where she needed to go. She pondered the handprint on the misted up windows and wondered who might have made it. Then she heard a noise. It was a mobile phone on the seat next to her. Someone must have left it there. She picked it up. And strangely, it wasn't locked. It was still open on a chat uh, that was obviously ongoing with the previous occupant. As she read the text, she began to realize what had happened. It read, Yes, that would be lovely. I cannot wait to see you. Me too, smiley face. Do you remember the house? How could I forget? I'm on my way. See you soon. Then a message came in. Where are you? Are you okay? She wondered what to do. She asked the taxi driver, uh, who was the last person? It, 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 did you drop somebody off? He said, no. He said, I've been on holiday for two weeks. You're my first fare in ages. Oh, actually, I did have one earlier, but uh, nobody turned up. Oh, said Alice. Okay. So... She decided to send a message back. Who are you? I've just found this phone. Message came back. Are you joking with me, Alice? That made her feel quite uneasy. Like that feeling you get when you think someone's standing behind you and touching the back of your neck. How do they know my name, she thought. How do you know my name? I know you so well. How long will you be? This was really beginning to get quite spooky. Alice thought about it. She sent another message. Believe me, I'm not joking. I've just found the phone. Oh dear. I'm worried now. Where is Alice? She sent another message. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know. But I want to help you. Are you still in the taxi? Could you come to my house? Alice 
Alice replied. Where are you? I'll ask the taxi driver if we can. Come to the cottage at the end of Old Mansion Lane. We're on our way. We'll be about ten minutes. The taxi driver knew where it was. Message came back. You are so kind. I'm so grateful. Thank you. The rain had stopped by the time they reached the end of Old Mansion Lane. The moon was shining through the clouds. When they arrived at the house, it looked like one of those classic haunted houses that you see in haunted houses stories. And the gate was slightly ajar, sort of beckoning really for Alice to come on in. <laughs> Alice said to the taxi driver, please hang on for a moment. I, I, I'll, I'll just take the phone and, and I'll be back in, in two ticks. The taxi driver agreed, although he wasn't happy. Alice got out and started to head down the path towards the house. Then, just as she was about to knock on the door, she heard that familiar sound. It was a voicemail message. Are you here? I hope you all enjoyed that. And thank you very much for watching. And in the meantime, I'd like to give very special thanks to some of my friends who I know might enjoy this video. Uh, in particular, Colorado Martini, Rose Biss, Christina and Son, and of course the Ghost Squad, <laughs> Desert Urbexer, Ox and Parkway, Nez Lover, Bone Daddy 2, 303 Paranormal TV, of course. And last but not least, by any stretch of the imagination, Caitlin the Mortician. Thank you so much, everybody. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.